compaction, compaction, compaction. That's been our mantra in the hardscape industry. But when using open graded stone or permeable base, commonly called ASTM number 57s, three quarter inch clean angular symmetrical material, little to no compactive effort is needed. In this application, in this environment with a deep frost line and lots of freeze thaw cycles, our typical base would have been nine inches. We don't want to do that. We're going to be able to save money for the consumers and get in and out of this job quicker with a six inch base. To make sure it's plenty strong, we've incorporated a biaxial geo grid, an alliance gator grid, what's called 3030. These biaxial grids are installed, no overlap, only abutting with 100% coverage. Biaxial geo grids have changed the way we hardscape. We learn by doing, after carrying pavers for many years, by hand, scratching up the inside of my arms, ruining my shirts, figure out there's a better way. Carrying 10 pavers at a time to the laying face, very quick, very efficient, spin it out, grab more pavers. Our bedding layer is in, it's a one inch number eight stone bedding layer. It's screeded, doesn't need any compaction, we can lay right on that surface. We're approaching completion on our permeable pavement install. As you can see, we've used our Victorian Red Black in an interlocking application as our border or header course around the project. The reason for that is sometimes you'll get wind-blown debris from the leaves shedding trees, the environment, and they will build up against that edge, easy to shovel and remove without contaminating the joints on our permeable pavement system. We're also using our Avignon as an elevated edge. It is also a component of our erosion and sediment control measures. It's set on the base with a slight mortar bed and then backfilled with steel reinforced concrete for integrity. That elevated edge will keep all the mulch and debris out in the environment where we want it. Now we're using a Durawall type product. Here you go, Rob. And we use it as opposed to rebar. It's very easy to bend. We're gonna put plenty of overlap on it. And that steel is gonna give us the strength that we're gonna need in a deep frost line or a lot of freeze thaw susceptible soil conditions environment. I'll bend this over here. Once that unit is bent, we'll be ready to backfill with concrete and we'll be good. Our joint fill here, you see sweeping into the joints, is Alliance Aqua Rock. It's a number nine base stone. It's hardness tested. The material is symmetrical, no flat elongated particles and less than 5% passing the 200 sieve. We want to sweep it in to just below the chamfer. We're going to check to make sure that it's completely consolidated in full using a putty knife test. If I can get more than one half inch penetration with that putty knife, then I know I need to re-sweep and reconsolidate. But we're good here. Mm -hmm. 